hello guys and welcome back so as you know that in our previous videos we have completed our player controller so as you can see the player can walk forward and backward and to the left and right as well and we have a footstep sound as well so the next thing which we will be doing is to add a camera controller because for now as you can see we can't rotate our player as you can see so what we're gonna do now we will create a script for our camera controller so right here just go ahead and first of all create a folder by the name of player okay and let's move this player movement script in there then after this inside this player folder now let's create a new c-sharp script by the name of camera controller now if we go ahead and click on our player game object click on camera and simply drag and drop this script right here on the camera okay and then let's open this up let's remove the start and update method and at the top what we're gonna do now is first of all we will be needing a reference to our player transform okay so we will say public transform let's name this as player transform after this we will create a float which will handle our camera sensitivity so we will say public float sensitivity this will be by default equals to let's just say 2 okay then after this we will create a public float and now as you know that in this camera controller we will be adding a minimum and maximum angle to our camera x and y rotation okay so first of all let's do it for our camera x rotation so we will say minimum x angle and the minimum x angle will be minus 30 okay then we can just simply copy this paste it down below and change this to max x angle and this will be equals to 30 f okay just to move the minus then let's paste it once again and now change this to minimum y angle the minimum y angle will be minus 360 okay let's copy it paste it down below now the maximum y angle will be 360 okay then after this we need a float which will be our camera smooth speed okay so we will say public float let's name this as smooth speed this will be equals to 10 by default then after this we will create a private float which will be by the name of rotation x this will be equals to zero okay then we will copy it paste it down below change this to rotation y and this will be also zero so once you create all of these variables now let's go ahead and add a start method and in the start method what we're gonna do first of all is we will lock our cursor to the screen okay when we start the game so for doing that we will say cursor dot lock state this will be equals to cursor lock mood dot locked okay then after this we will say cursor dot visible equals to false okay because we don't want to see the cursor on our screen so now if we save the script and get back to unity click on the camera now as you can see everything right here is set up let's go ahead and drag and drop our player transform in there okay now if we play the game okay and you will notice when we play the game 
and then if we click on the screen now as you can see the cursor is locked the screen okay and it is not visible so now we have the variable set up for our camera controller now in the next video we will work further on our camera controller